Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So as you can see, I'm using my Lightroom CC and here you can see that I have used a few presets on uh, some of my pictures and the pictures that I have saved from pixels.com uh, but it, it gives us a real hard time while we do our video editing and because video editing effects are really hard to find also not uh, we cannot use our Lightroom presets on top of our videos but if we could use it, that would be great, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your Lightroom uh, presets on top of your Premiere Pro videos and you can see I have two of my videos over here and I'm going to use uh, my Lightroom preset on top of my Premiere Pro videos. So without any further ado guys, let's get started. So now what we are going to do is we have to select uh, a preset that we want to use on top of our videos. So you can choose any of them. Let me search for one. Suppose I want to use this one okay this one looks great so you go to your um, develop and you click on this new preset and you see um, there are few options right so you have to remove the stick from these options okay you can remove these options because you cannot actually change these things you can also remove this lens correction these are not needed what you need is you, you need uh, graduated filters then you need a radial filters split toning these things are needed okay but these are not needed you can also keep your tone curve so we are almost done and then just click on this um, preset name the preset name is untitled preset 2 and you have to click on create okay so you mm -hmm. see there will be a new preset saved we have to find this out and you just user presets and you see untitled preset 2 that we have created just now and you click on this and then you just export this image okay export this image to your desktop okay and export so now what we are going to do is we are going to our browser and you see this um this website i'll be adding this website into the descriptions and you see this is called a uh, iwlt bap lut generator so what are these LUTs? basically the presets that we use in our lightroom are usually called the xmp file okay the preset file but the presets or the effects that we use in our um premiere pro or our videos that which are called basically cube files so how you can convert a preset a picture preset into a video preset is basically called a LUT generator software if you want to convert your picture preset into a video preset you have to use LUT generator so in the market there are so many um, LUT generators which take a lot of price but this LUT generator is actually free <laughs> this is unbelievable but this is free actually so what you have to do enter your price you have to write zero and then you have to click on buy now and as soon as you click on buy now it will appear like this and the quantity is one you have to give your email id you have to give your country and then you have to hit on continue okay as soon as you hit on continue this website will send you an email and you have to click on that email and after clicking on that email a file will be downloaded so what kind of file will be downloaded i'm going to show you now this kind of file you can see okay so this folder will be downloaded on your downloads iw ltbap lut generator so this folder will be downloaded another thing will be downloaded and that is this neutral png file okay a png image will be also downloaded okay so what you have to do you have to go to this iw ltbap lut generator and you have to click on your lightroom okay lightroom you have saved this picture and you want this picture preset to become a video preset so you have to click on this settings okay you have to click on the settings and you have to click on copy settings okay copy settings and you see the settings we have removed these things right we have removed these things and you copy them click on copy okay now what you have to do is you drag it down on your lightroom and import it okay just hit on import and it is imported so you go there you save this picture you hit on develop you hit on settings and you see this paste settings you click on this so this is your new preset that this picture has now export this picture on your desktop export it okay so you got this new image and this is a jpeg file earlier the file that they gave you by default it was a png file and the file that you have created now is a jpeg file so go to the software folder and hit on lut generation lut generator windows okay so you see this application inside of it you hit on this and you see this is small kind of software appears okay so there are two options generate a halt and convert to cube what we are going to do like i told you earlier the LUTs, the lookup table lookup table which means the LUTs, the cubes that we use for our videos are basically the video effects and video effects are called the lookup tables the LUTs. in short so what we are going to do we are going to convert this um, picture that we have created right now into a cube as a result the picture the qualities or the color corrections the settings that this picture has 
this software will automatically take them as an input and they will convert them into a video effect which is called a cube okay so you click on this convert to cube and you go to desktop and you hit on this jpeg file that you have created and you hit on open so give it some time okay just give it a few moments and you see it's done so it says that conversion is done and you hit on ok all right so this is our new file which is a cube file on our desktop so go to your premiere pro and you see this video that we have and now on our effects panel this is our effects panel you just write lumetri color okay so you see this lumetri color preset you drag it on top of your video you drag it on top of this video as well so you see there are some changes in our video but we do not want this kind of LUTs okay we want our own kind of cube LUTs okay you hit on this basic correction in your effects control panel this lumetri color is selected and you hit on basic correction you see this input LUT option over here you click on this browse and go to your desktop and the, the new cube that you have created you hit open okay and you go and see this video has changed you hit on another video and you go to this lumetri color go to this basic correction you hit browse and bring this new cube that you have created so you see these are the corrections okay so there are some changes in this blurry kind of flowers right so you can change them as well how you can change them you can increase the exposure you can decrease the highlight you can increase the shadows it's up to you you can change them according to your convenience also you can increase or decrease the whiteness you can increase the blackness okay also you can change a few settings from here you can increase the temperature you can decrease the temperature i'm going to keep it on 10 okay and this looks fine this video looks completely fine with this cube or lut but this doesn't but this video doesn't look good with this cube so we are going to change the cube and bring some of the cubes that i have already saved in my pc so these are my few cubes that i have and i'm going to select this 27 okay and you see it changed okay you can choose so many cubes and there are so many presets on your lightroom you can choose any of them and this one looks great okay this one looks great as a as our cube so i'm going to keep it and this one also looks great with our previous cube so basically this is how you bring your lightroom presets lightroom presets on on top of your premiere pro videos and i hope this video helped you and if you like this video just hit on subscribe and like my video share it with your friends thank you so much for watching thanks a lot have a nice day everyone